Hey guys, so um, today it was announced uh, on many forms of social media. I saw it first through X, uh, which Twitter is what we should be calling it because it's Twitter. Um, Atari has released a new system. So in order to get ready for this, I put on my Atari shirt today because can you play Atari today? Yes, but they want you to wait until like the fall. So, uh, today Atari has announced the Atari 2600 Plus, uh, which is their version of, or um, a new version of their Atari 2600, and uh, it's coming out this fall. So, as you can see right here, Atari ha is releasing the 2600 Plus, and they even priced it for us, $129.99, uh, which... You know, it's not terrible. Um, however, uh, you know, they did release that Atari VCS um, in very small quantities. When I was working at GameStop, we were advertising it a little bit, uh, but we didn't really do much. But what, that was like 300 for the base model. Um, this one, it, you know, it looks, it appears to be like the original 2600 design. Obviously, 2600 plus. Um, and it comes with a 10 in 1 game cartridge. And it looks like it comes with one controller. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, it says, no cartridge left behind. Enjoy your favorite 2600 and 7800 games on one system. Uh, so it looks like it comes with HDMI, uh, widescreen mode for easy connectivity to modern TVs. Included is a CX40 Plus joystick, so a standard joystick. And once again, that 10 in 1 game, um, as you can see right here. And the Atari logo lights up when being played. So that's kind of cool. You know, that little, uh, you know, on that, I'm assuming it's faux wood grain, uh, actually comes to life. And it comes with 10 games right here, which are going to be some of their most famous games. Which will be Adventure, Combat, Dodge, em, Haunted House, Maze, Craze, Mystical Man, which I really like. Real Sports Volleyball, Surround, Video Pinball, which is pretty fun. Uh, and Yars Revenge, which is a game that I like, but I don't really know how to play. But it's fun, you know? Uh, it says pre-order availability, so... Shipping in November 2023, fingers crossed. Um, it sounds, you know, international. I guess we'll see what's happening. But the hardware here, this is what we want to look at. So it's got 256 megabytes of RAM, 256 internal storage. So it's, you know, it's, it's not a Raspberry Pi, but, you know, it's a very small computer in there, uh, which is pretty cool. And it's got a DB9 connector. So does that mean it's like the original? Oh, so if you have your old Atari controllers, looks like you uh, might be able to put them in. So that's kind of cool. Um, I know I've got some, and I've got some Sega Genesis controllers, which you can actually use a Sega Genesis controller on an Atari. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if you're able to actually, you know, still do that. I'm assuming it does. Um, it looks like it's based on this. I'm assuming it's going to be emulation. Um, and it comes with, yeah, the one joystick, the system itself, the 10 and one game cartridge, HDMI, USB type, USB C power cable. Now that's that's nice to see, um, because a lot of us have USB C stuff just lying around. I've got plenty from old, you know, Android phones that I've had. Uh, you know, if you have a Switch uh, power cord, I mean that should be able to power it up. It looks like. Uh, so it looks like Atari is going to be doing this for the holidays now for the market. Uh, I'm assuming they're aiming for that nostalgia crowd, and you know really hardcore Atari fans. I wouldn't call myself, you know, a hardcore Atari fan at all. Well, yes, I am wearing the shirt. Um, I'm not the biggest Atari fan, but I do really like it. Um, you know, it's just, it's very simple games. You got to use imagination. Um, they don't hold up, obviously, like something like you would see with an NES or Famicom. Uh, but, you know, for the novelty of it, at 129 so... Once again, that price point right there, I do like it. Um, will I be picking one up? We'll see. Um, you don't really need it, I would say, but it is something fun to look at. So, you know, what do you think? What do you guys think about this Atari 2600 Plus? Do you think it's cool? Are you going to pick one up? Um, is it just like, kind of cool to look at to know that, you know, there is, you know, maybe a market out there for people? Um, did you, any of you guys ever play Atari growing up? I know I would play on those little flashbacks and, you know, I thought they were cool. My aunt bought me one years ago and 
I thought it was the coolest thing because it was old video games. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. You know, uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Uh, if you guys please, I'd appreciate if you subscribe so I can go, go ahead and kind of grow the channel a little more. Um, other than that, you guys, I just want to bring that up because, you know, it is kind of interesting to talk about. It's something different um, that's being released in the world of video games. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out. You guys take care and have a good day. Thank you.